I keep missing stuff? I feel like I've I feel like I've come to you guys more times in the last three weeks to give me information when that's my job. I was supposed to get some information. I was supposed to bring it to you. But Dana White came out today. He was doing press for Wonder Boy versus Jeff Neal. And he was talking about Adesanya will get a chance at Blahovich's light heavyweight title before Glover does. And that he would like, and this is Dana, Dana would like to make Adesanya versus Jones somewhere in 2021. Okay, great. Back up and hold the thought. I thought this was done. Haven't we already been told that Adesanya is fighting Blahovich? I saw the press for it. I saw the meat. I heard it from Izzy Adesanya's mouth, as a matter of fact. Now, I acknowledge that we never had a date. And guys, don't forget, as of right this second, did, are you aware of this? There are no world title fights booked. But again, we're just talking about the date. We know that Usman is going to fight Burns. We know that Stipe is going to fight Engano. I believe we are got confirmation that Megan and Amanda are going to redo that match. We know that Sterling is going to fight Jan. I mean, as I go through it, yes, yeah, sure, we don't have the date, but weren't we told that Adesanya is fighting Blahovich? I'm asking you that because if Dana had to come out and answer somebody's question today that no, Glover will not be getting the next shot at, at Blahovich. In fact, Izzy will. It means I've missed something. Either I've missed something and somewhere the ball's up in the air on that or that reporter never should have asked the question and Dana let him slide and answered it like a gentleman instead of smacking him over the head with a frying pan and letting him know that's a really stupid question. I've already announced the fight. What a... One of us can't be right. One of us has got to be wrong. I'm assuming it's me. We're weird assumption. Considering I'm generally not wrong, maybe I should just assume it was this reporter, but this still happened all the same. Isn't that fight happening? I want to go a step further. Weren't we told that that fight was likely to happen in February or March? Right? I mean, I feel like we were given a lot of details there. Now, as you look at the John Jones portion to this, is Adesanya versus Jones big enough fight to make based purely on a grudge, which is the only thing that fight would be about if Adesanya loses to Blahovich? I'm asking you a question. Would you want to see Adesanya versus Jones if Adesanya lost to Blahovich? So that tells you you're going to know two things if Adesanya loses. First off, there's going to be a narrative that he's not big enough to go 205. And secondly, when Adesanya and Jones fight, it's just a personal grudge. There's no strap on the line. Right, if Adesanya doesn't bring the belt and John doesn't bring the belt, you got no belt on the line. Is it big enough? I, hard no for me. I mean, I'll watch them boys fight anytime they want. I'll watch them arm wrestle. I'll watch them shout at each other on media. I understand all of that. What I'm asking is if you're the promoter and you got to tie a $20 million carrot to this between promotion, production, and purses, is it a, is it a good enough bet? Are you sure enough if Adesanya was to lose to Blahovich that you could repackage the Jones fight? I don't think so. I don't think there's very many fights that you could do that, but it's very relevant. It's extremely relevant because you have John Jones, who is so sincere in his desire to go to heavyweight that he walked away from a title. He is changing his body. He claims to be up to 240 pounds. We don't know if that's true, but if we were to take him at his word, and he's 240 pounds, by the way, the right way, looking pretty good, you're now talking about everything going in reverse. He's going to have to cannibalize his body, shed that muscle that he worked hard to get, Go back to 205 pounds, but he also gets what he wants, which is the biggest fight. John Jones has been very straight up. I don't care who I fight, but it needs a, some commas and zeros on there. Okay, fair enough. But that's Adesanya. That's only Adesanya. Now imagine Adesanya gets beat by Blahovich. Does John go down and challenge Blahovich? Take everything off, come back down. Th that would be a pretty special fight, in all fairness. I mean, the world title would be up. John would be coming back to reclaim it, which he's done a couple of times before. Oh, by the way, Blahovich is going to be a star if he beats Adesanya. Blahovich is a straight-up stud right now. He's going to be a star on top of being a stud if he gets through Adesanya. Is that big enough to add a comma and a zero and get John's attention? Because to get his attention, he's now going to have to change his lifestyle. I mean, right, when you, if you got up to 240 the right way, if, I keep saying if because he sent out a picture and said he was 240. I mean, we didn't see him on a scale. He could be having some fun. He weighs 229. Who knows what it is? If he is, in fact, a 240, though, you're talking about a, tr a tremendous lifestyle change to get there, and you're talking about a tremendous lifestyle change to get back down. Is that enough, or is he going to go, no, to hell with it. I'm going to see this through. I'm going up to heavyweight. Because you're juxtaposing at that point 
winner of Stipe and Gano versus Blahovich, when John himself is telling you whichever one's bigger, that's where I'm going. So we're going to have to guess, right? We're guessing right now. We're using our imagination. If you close your eyes and picture how big of a household name and a draw is Blahovich going to be if he beats Adesanya? Okay, great. You got the answer? You got the answer, whatever that is? Okay. Is that a bigger householder name or star than either Stipe or Engano? And don't forget, however big Engano is right now, he's going to be bigger because he's going to have dusted Stipe. However big Stipe is right now, he's going to be bigger because he's going to have to dust Engano to get to that spot. I mean, do you see the problem? Great thing for us. I mean, as fans, in all fairness, we've got some really cool things to look forward to in 2021. I'm trying to look at it purely from John Jones. What do I do? What do, do I go left or do I go right? What do I do? Do I go up or do I go down? What do I do? I mean, John's got to be on the edge of his seat here. Go, which way do I go? Now, I know what the common belief is going to be. It's going to be to come out and tease John Jones. If he goes up to heavyweight, then he was scared of Adesanya. If he goes after Adesanya, then he was scared to go to heavyweight. I get the whole thing. Guys, don't sound foolish. You call John Jones a lot of things. To call John Jones scared to fight, I mean, in all fairness, that's a silly statement. 